Yeah, you're spot on, Andy. I think uh, anything less than two points from two matches, and uh, it will be tough to see how Team Europe could bring this around in the night session. And Mika Kordunyemi gets him off to a flyer. Just what the Europeans need to start the game. A strike right in the pocket. Well, he's been large on the lane, hasn't he? Absolutely sensational this weekend, Dominic Barrett. If there's been problems in the European squad, he's not part of it. Barnes nails his first one. Yeah, so with the scores all equal after one frame, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Pete Webber goes in this doubles match. He's uh, been struggling. He needs to assert his uh, domination on one, at least one match. And starts again. Tom Dominic looking for the double for the European squad. You know, I've been so impressed with this young man. I mean, this is his Weather Cup debut. It is not going to be his only appearance. He's going to be around for an awful long time. Nick, yes, you're quite right. Uh, Tom's also featured in the World Champion Masters on uh, on a single lane format on television before uh, for the last couple of years. But this is his first time with the Weather Weather team. Ranked number two in Europe. But at the moment, it's Pete Weber, slightly under pressure. Needs to bury one in the pocket. Yeah. Well, it. Absolutely, yeah, he'll enjoy that one. Coyvin Amy looking for three in a row. Yeah. Hit him in the corner, yeah, he's yeah. 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 Well, look at this. Re establishing connection with the Moose Patrol. Always got a smile on his face, the man from uh, Dallas, the Dallas general vicinity, Flower Mound in Texas. Yeah. Not the best uh, strike you'll ever see, but they all count. Well, that's why he's looking so happy, and so is team captain and Tommy Jones. A real mixer there, wasn't it? Let's not go there just at the moment. <laughs> we thought we were going to have a 300 game in doubles for a long while. Here's Barrett trying to keep things going and does. And of course, it's all pressure every shot. Yeah, it does start to get ratcheted up around about now, doesn't it? Because nobody's missed and you don't want to be the first guy to leave one standing. So all the heat on Pete. And Pete felt that heat as well. That was an absolutely miserable shot. Yeah, low on pace. Took off early, came through the head pin. Just left the three, four, six, and the seven. Gettable, but tough. And he didn't quite get the angle right, so double problems there. Not only low frame, but a low pin count to boot. Pete's had a tough afternoon. Pete's had a tough Weber Cup. Shall we say again? But uh, he's not had the uh, happiest of trips. Mika looking for a strike for five in a row. Yeah, well, that's what you've got to do. The crowd go ballistic. A high five for the two European players. And they are perfect at the halfway stage. If Oscar had just held his nerve, we'd be looking at a one-point differential in this match. In this contest, this race to 17. Instead, there is still daylight between the two, no matter what the Europeans do here. Yes, Nick, you're quite right. Yes, you, you've isolated that particular ball that uh, Oscar threw in the last frame, and it was such a valuable ball, and unfortunately, he didn't come up trumps with it. Cost well, Europe a... is looking likely. Looking for a six in a row. <laughs> Good idea. The domination team. Uh... Ooh, Chris Lee's on standing, so Pete will have a single pin to uh, take care of and. Uh, you know, we've talked about Oscar Palermo and his troubles, Guy. I mean, what are your thoughts on Pete Webber here, who has, has come in and, and, well, he's not been the legend, has he? No, we haven't seen quite the best of Pete Webber just yet, and I'm not sure what, what it quite is with Pete. I don't know if it's just the moment, you know, first time in the tournament. 
crime. It's a hell of a tough field. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, you know, USA, you know, they haven't needed him, which has been quite fortunate for them. And uh, Europe really need to take the point now. And how different things could have been if Oscar could have just struck in the last, uh, the last frame of the last game. No, oh, you're not. Uh, kept it together in frame ten against Tommy Jones, and uh, you know, you try and isolate turning points, pivotal moments in the course of a long tournament like this. And that frame ten for Oscar Paloma against Tommy Jones certainly was one of those moments. But the Europeans are not dead and buried yet. Far from it, Nick, and neither are the Moose Patrol. Even us has got to applaud this. Seven strikes in a row for these two players. They are looking absolutely great. Momentum is such a fragile thing in any sport. It certainly is in, uh, in bowling. If they can uh, close the afternoon session with a couple of points here, Team Europe, they'll be right back in business. Looking comfortable here, 60 pins is the margin as we go into frame. Amongst the guy's many qualities, his poise, his preparation, his mental toughness. And does the 10 go? No, it did not. Nothing wrong with the shot, just didn't get the carry. So no 300 game in doubles. But you know what? Mika Koivuniemi has missed single pins three times in this Weber Cup. Was that a nervous little uh, <laughs> bounce off the, off the fingers there from me? I think it was, you know. Dominic saying, yeah, well, you know, one pin, what's the problem? I, just, I was just thinking of the commentary curse. Dark tunnel. It's no more than that. Weber's got to get all ten to keep that glimmer alive, and he's not going to get it. Not in the pocket, lucky to leave a single pin, and uh, the shake of the head says it all. Pete just, Pete just can't find his A game. Yeah, no, he's not getting the reaction on the ball that he wants, um, whereas the other players seem to be, so I, I'm not sure what the excuse is, if any excuse. Just seems to be coming high on the head pin, fraction early. Well, in many ways, this is, this is a story in itself. You know, Pete Webber is, is a legitimate legend in this sport, one of the biggest names in the history of 10 pin bowling. Play on a lane condition like this on the PBA Tour, it's certainly a harder condition than we've got today. <laughs> Having said that, he should certainly uh, adapt eventually. Bob Barry shoots another strike, as you may have guessed. Pacing 279, the Europeans, and, and Dom's even smiling now, so he's quite happy. They're still in business here, you know. Ooh, that was a shocker. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. Weber was just trying a different line. Of yeah. Change totally, move left on the approach with his feet. Threw the ball wide to the right. Just no reaction for him. And unfortunately, if that's the way it's going, that's the way it goes. There's not much you can do about it. God takes a spare. The game's all over. And it's a victory for Europe. Oh, both of them are really suffering. Anyway, the last act for Team Europe. delight for this crowd. Mika Kourvinami adopted by the Moose Patrol here in Barnsley. Certainly like to see him back next year. Oh, as part of Team USA. And we'd like to see Dominic Barrett back next year as well. Uh, the way he's played, you're not going to get him out of this. Strike for 279 from uh, the Major Moose man. What a fantastic game this has been for Team Europe. Let loose the Moose. You know when you've been moosed, and the Americans have certainly been moosed in this game. Give us a strike. There you go. There it's all about. I love it. <laughs> well, at least he's getting involved. He can oh. smile, the game's over. Or uh, Dominic Barrett's cheerleaders there towards Pete. I think he enjoyed that. And the crowd will raise him through this last shot. It means nothing, not to the score anyway. <laughs> Pete signs off with a smile, but Oscar Paloma is probably thinking.